What's going on all my pre-healthcare brothers and sisters? I hope that y'all are having a wonderful day. We're moving on to our next video in the ATIT's question review series, and today we're gonna to be discussing the scientific method. Question one, which of the following tools would be the most appropriate to measure the mass of the human liver? Is it A, a balanced scale, B, meter stick, C, spring scale, or D, barometer? And the correct choice is A, a balanced scale. The most appropriate tool to measure the mass of the human liver is the balanced scale. Question two, which of the following reflects the correct order of steps in the scientific method? Is it A, conduct an experiment, draw a conclusion, form a hypothesis, B, form a hypothesis, draw a conclusion, conduct an experiment, C, conduct an experiment, analyze the data, draw a conclusion, or is it D, identify a problem, analyze the data, and form a hypothesis? And the correct answer is C, conduct an experiment, analyze the data, and draw a conclusion. The order of steps in the scientific method is as follows. We want to identify the problem, ask questions about the problem, form a hypothesis, gather data or conduct or experiment, analyze the data, and draw a conclusion. Question three, scientists conduct an experiment to assess the effect of a certain substance, substance A, on bacterial cell division. One group of bacteria is exposed to substance A at regular intervals over a period of 10 days. The second group of bacteria receives no exposure to substance A. Which of the following is the dependent variable in this study? Is it A, bacterial cell division, B, substance A, C, the group of bacteria exposed to substance A, or is it D, the group of bacteria with no exposure to substance A? And the correct answer is A, bacterial cell division. Bacterial cell division is the dependent variable under study. Substance A is the independent variable. The scientists are assessing the effects that substance A has on bacterial cell division. So substance A is the cause in this instance. Bacterial cell division is the outcome or effect. Question four. A scientist concluded that decreasing the birth order results in an increasing weight at birth. Which of the following statements accurately describes the relationship between birth order and weight at birth? Is it A, birth order varies directly with weight at birth, B, birth order varies indirectly with weight at birth, C, birth order is directly correlated with weight at birth, or D, birth order is positively correlated with weight at birth. And the correct answer is B, birth order varies indirectly with weight at birth. The study shows that as the birth order increases, the birth weight decreases. Therefore, the two factors are inversely correlated. Another way to say this would be to say that they show indirect variation or that birth order varies indirectly with birth weight. Question five, which is the most appropriate unit to measure the length of a standard basketball court? Is it A, yards, B, millimeters, C, kilometers, or D, liters? And the correct answer is A, yards. The most appropriate unit to measure the length of a standard basketball court is in yards. Millimeters and kilometers also measure length, but the scale of a basketball court is too large for millimeters and too small for kilometers. Question six. A scientist concluded that increasing the temperature results in an increasing number of blooms on a given flower. Which of the following correctly identifies one problem with this conclusion? Is it A, the scientist is biased because he or she prefers flowers with multiple blooms? Is it B, the scientist failed to include a control group in this experiment? C, the scientist assumed that the correlation observed does not apply to other types of plants? Or is it D, the scientists failed to identify a point 
at which increasingly higher temperatures become a barrier to bloom formation? And the correct answer is D. The scientists failed to identify a point at which increasingly higher temperatures become a barrier to bloom formation. The scientists concluded that continuing to increase temperature would continue to increase the number of blooms. The data only shows the number of blooms increasing over a certain range of temperatures. So the scientist's conclusion is not supported. Which of the following are examples of inductive reasoning? Is it A, all the singers in the choir are talented? Elena is in the choir, therefore Elena is talented. Is it B, all the gorillas observed in the zoo have brown hair, therefore all gorillas have brown hair? C, all surgeons are detail-oriented. Jorge is a surgeon, therefore Jorge must be detail-oriented. Or is it D, all libraries are quiet. The MacArthur Reading Room is a library, therefore the MacArthur Reading Room is quiet. And the correct answer is B, all the gorillas observed in the zoo have brown hair, therefore all gorillas have brown hair. The argument in choice B is an example of inductive reasoning. It starts with a statement regarding specific observations. All the gorillas observed in the zoo have brown hair. It then draws a general conclusion. Therefore, all gorillas have brown hair. Only certain gorillas have been observed, the ones in the zoo, but the conclusion refers to all gorillas in general. Choices A, C, and D are all examples of deductive reasoning. Question A. A study is conducted to determine the effect of aspirin on heart attack risks. Study participants are divided into two groups. Participants in the first group are given a low dose of aspirin daily, while participants in the second group receive no aspirin. Which of the following describes the first group? Is it A, the dependent variable, B, independent variable, C, treatment group, or D, control group? And the correct answer is C, treatment group. The first group is the treatment group or experimental group. Participants in the first group receive a dose of aspirin, which is the independent variable under the study. The second group is the control group, because participants in this group do not receive the factor under the study. In a pregnancy study, women in group 1 were given a low dose of medication X daily. Women in group 2 did not receive medication X. The pregnancy rate for the medication X users was 60%, and the pregnancy rate for the non-users was 40%. Which of the following is a reasonable hypothesis related to the experiment? Is it A, women in group two have higher pregnancy rates than women in group one? B, women in group one have higher pregnancy rates than women in group two? C, therapy with medication X reduces labor time? Or D, therapy with medication X improves pregnancy rates? And the correct answer is D, therapy with medication X improves pregnancy rates. The study tested the effect of medication X on pregnancy rates in women. A reasonable hypothesis related to this study would be that therapy with medication X improves pregnancy rates. Choices A and B are incorrect because the study focused on how medication X affected pregnancy rates specifically. Choice C is incorrect because the study does not address labor time. Moving on to our last question. The final step in the scientific method is reflected by which of the following? Is it A, formulate a hypothesis, B, conduct an experiment, C, draw a conclusion, or D, analyze the evidence? And the correct answer is C, draw a conclusion. The final step in the scientific method is to draw a conclusion. Scientists must analyze the evidence before drawing a conclusion, and they must conduct an experiment before analyzing the evidence. So choices B and D are incorrect. I hope that these question review series are helpful in helping you pass the ATITs like a boss. Make sure that you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Make sure that you subscribe. And I highly recommend that you check out my website at nursechung.com where I have additional practice questions to help you get a little bit further in your studies. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering them. And until next time, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.